I'm logged into uh, QuickBooks Online Plus. This is uh, your latest 2014 version. And if you have uh, QuickBooks Essentials, it will also look the same. This one starts with uh, gear. Right here is a gear. And the plus sign. And then on the left side, you have a uh, navigation bar. Let's start with gear. So this is like uh, gear under the hood, back in uh, side of settings. So let's click gear, and this is where you will see settings for the company. So if you want to make any changes to company, or if you want to make changes to sales form, or uh, uh, any changes to uh, products and services, time tracking. So this is where you go, company settings. And then you have chart of accounts. They have a basic chart of accounts probably already set up. And then if you want to add or modify it, this is where you go. And list, so this is where you have uh, products and services that you use for invoicing your customers. And if you have inventory, uh, also part of products and services. So if you have inventory, it will track inventory. And when you sell it, it will take out inventory and uh, recognize as revenue and also recognize cost of goods sold based on your cost setting. And on the tool side, you have uh, uh, import data. You can import chart of accounts or some of the stuff from desktop and you can also uh, export data if you need to and then reconcile this is the one you use for bank reconciliation and if you're into budgeting for 2014 so this is where you go budgeting and audit log is where it will track all your admin stuff when you log in or make changes it will log in here to record all the changes um, by time and everything. And in the company side, this is your basic account, this is your account setting. So if you want to make a changes or upgrade it, this is where you go. And manage users. So that if you want to give access to uh, your staff or if you want to give access to your accountant, so this is where you go. And feedback, if you want to give some feedback, good or bad, to, into online this is where you go and if you want to switch company if you have more than one company this is where you go and this is where you sign up so that's that's all about the gear thing here uh, the most important thing on this one you will be using is the product and services and company settings these two probably you will be using the most company setting is pretty long Perhaps products and services is one time setup. And once you use it, then you don't need to uh, mess up with this again. So, so if you add new products, this is where you go. Okay, so we'll go back to home again. Uh, and this is where, this is the product side. This is the plus side. So this is where you do, enter all the transactions. This is like a form. So you enter all the transactions right here. So for customer side, if you invoice, if you need to invoice, this is where you go. And once you invoice it, if, if they, when they pay you, the, you, you go to receive payment. And then, uh, depending upon how, the, how your account is set up, receive payment and then make deposit if it, if it first goes to undeposited accounts. So invoice, customers, they pay you. When they pay you, it will go to undeposited funds and then you go to bank deposit and you will transfer from undeposited funds to your bank account. And if you're using estimate, this is where you go. And on the, on the vendor side, uh, you have expenses, check, bill, pay bills. So the expense, it is for recording all the transactions, banking transactions, withdrawal, ATM, debit card. And also if you have credit card, this is where you go into all the credit card charges and check if you are writing check and printing check this is where you go 
and bill is, is a vendor entering vendor bills and and setting up for uh, paying bills later on. You get bills and let's say you want to pay within 30 days, this is where you go and pay bills. Once you have set up bills here, you pay bills here. And if you receive a purchase order, this is where you go. And if you have received a vendor credit when you did the bill, so this is where you go. And and when you enter credit card charges, sometimes credit card, they will give you credit, so this is where you go. And if you have paycheck set up with online, uh, with QuickBooks, this is where you go. And if you have time time tracking on, on then this is where you set up all your single time and weekly time, see this is where you fill out. And on this side, the other, this is where you do the bank deposits and transfer from within bank account, from checking to savings, savings to checking. This is where you go. And zone entry is, if you, if you know about zone entry, debit and credit. And uh, uh, most likely you will be using these uh, and these. More, but once in a while you may have to write zone entry at the mountain or your end. So this is where you go. And if you want to print some statement. So that's this is where you use it. So it's basically plus is to is like a form where you record all the transactions, and if you need to do any search, so here's your search account. This is search transactions. Whatever you enter in here, you can do search in here if you need to in the future. And this the sign is basically all the recent transactions it will record in here, up to five or ten transactions. It will just put transaction review of your transactions. And on the uh, on the navigation bar, so you have home. It's always click home. It gets to there. You have all the home page in here, and the customer records, and the vendors. So this is where all you will see all the vendors, and the customer size. This is where you see all the invoices, uh, how they're doing, how much they owe you, uh, when the payment is due, and vendors, vendors same thing entering bills and how much you owe them and employees if you have payroll set up you can use this one and your transactions side all the transactions from here you have some sort of records in here so the banking sales expenses and any transactions you enter here it will go to register so you will click register then you can see the uh, transactions and if you need to print checks when you do the uh, bill pay bills if you want to print all right here check then come here and print checks and on the report side you have all the reports you need you click in here and they have uh, all the reports set up in here custom reports and basic profit and loss balance sheet and if you need to find out what reports they have you just click in here release all the reports right here Right here so click here you see all the reports and uh, if you charge sales tax it goes in here and apps if you want to buy apps compatible with this offer you go in here you can buy it you have to pay separately it's uh, it's it's your subscription plus you have you have to pay for the apps so uh, in any sense this is your this is this plus sign is for it's like a front end thing. This is where you, you record all your transactions, and the gear is like a back end, back end thing. This is under hood stuff. So this is where you go, and the navigation bar. This is where you have all the basic uh, uh, records: the customers' record, vendors' records, employees' records and transactions you make and all the reports so basically that's about it so stay with the gear plus sign and the menu bar so that should do it thank you